find the equation of the plane containing the origin and the line RT equals 2 plus 3T, 4 plus T, 1 plus T. We start by writing down the equation of a plane. So that'll be given by A, X minus X zero plus B, Y minus Y zero plus C, Z minus Z zero equals zero. Here, X zero, Y zero, Z zero, that can be any point in the plane. And then A, B, and C, those are the components of a normal vector. The normal vector will be any vector that's perpendicular to our plane. So, we're given that our plane contains the origin, so we can let x0, y0, z0 be 0, 0, 0, and the equation of our plane reduces to ax plus by plus cz equals 0. So all we need to do is find the normal vector. Now, to do that, I have one point in the plane, so if I find two other points, we can create two vectors, and then I can take the cross product. Okay, if I have two vectors and I want to create a vector that's perpendicular to both, the cross product does that for me. So that's how I find my normal vector. Now, let's note. First, if I let t be equal to zero, that'll give me the point two, four, one. What I can do then is, okay, we have two, four, one, we have the point zero, zero, zero. So if I take their difference to form a vector, that gives me back, okay, gone from the point two, four, one to the vector two, four, one. So that's my V. For my U, I actually don't have to go and find a point. I know I can write my line in point direction form as, okay, two, four, one plus T three, one, one. 3, 1, 1 is going to be the direction that our line points in. So if we look at the picture, we have the plane, we have our origin there, and then I'm going to have my line, and then there's going to be a vector u, which just points in the direction of the line. So that'll be my u. Okay, our u is going to be 3, 1, 1. So I have u equal to 3, 1, 1, and my v equal to 2, 4, 1. We stick it into our cross product, see what comes out. So cross product of two vectors, what do we do? I put ijk, I load in 3, 1, 1, 2, 4, 1, and then you have two ways you can go from here. You can either do the business of, okay, take i, forget about these guys, and then just take the cross, and then do that for each of those, or you could take your matrix, put it next to itself, and then it's just going down the first three diagonals, then backwards, three diagonals take their difference. It'll get you the same answer. So whichever one is easier for you to keep under control. So if I do the diagonals, what happens? I'll get I, 2J, 12K, minus 4I, minus 3J, minus 2K. Put all that together, I get minus 3I, minus J, plus 10K, or minus 3, minus 1, 10. That's my normal vector N. So this is gonna be A, B, and C, and I get my plane here, minus three X, minus Y, plus 10 Z equals zero. How do I check? Well, if I put zero, zero, zero in there, okay, that's gonna solve this equation. I'll get zero minus zero plus zero is equal to zero. So the origin's definitely in there. And now I could take the entire equation for the line and put it in there, and we'll see that that also satisfies the equation. So what do I do? Well, I'll put two plus three T in for X, four plus T in for Y, and one plus T in for Z. So if we keep track of everything, okay, so without the T, we'll have minus six minus four plus 10. And then with the T, I'll have minus nine minus one plus 10 all times T. You notice zero plus zero gives me zero. So my line lives inside of this plane. 